Hi there guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cool 3D intro using AW After Effects. As you can see, it was really smart and it's really simple to do. So first off, you're just going to want to go into After Effects and create a new composition. I'm going to be using the preset, the HD um, 720 and I'm just going to make it 20, 10 seconds long and I click OK right so first off I'm just going to add some text and for this font I'm going to be using is 28 days later and I reckon this is perfect for this um, intro so I'm just going to write my company's name alright just going to center it out, it doesn't have to be perfect alright so now you're going to want to go to the layer new and you're just going to create a solid and you're going to make this solid the color white and click OK and the reason why we're doing this is you'll see in a sec so just going to drag this solid underneath the text and then I'm just going to unsolo this text here or make sure you can't see it right and once you're clicking on the white solid you're going to go to effect you're going to simulation and shatter right now you're going to go to the animation presets and you're going to choose, oh sorry no you're not, you're going to choose the view and you're going to choose it to rendered. Right, okay. Now the shape, you're going to make it custom and then where it's a custom shatter and then it's going to say M or whatever, you're going to choose it to the text that you've named it, so mine's Pure Creative Designs. And now you can see your text is back. Alright. Now you're just going to, if I just uh, just to show you that this is now 3D um, if I just drag out as you can see it's shattering away and it's in 3D yeah this will stop so it's not gonna just this isn't gonna be your intro just flying out like this but I'm just gonna make as you can see on this extraction depth I'm just gonna take it out to about 50 and as you can see how thick this is now this is the um, 3D text now I'm just gonna just drag it back to 0 seconds and now you're gonna the force 1 and you make the strength is zero. Same for force two. So if you watch this now, all this does now is just go down. And the way to stop this now is by on the physics. Make sure gravity is set to naught. So that's it. There's our 3D text. As you can see, it's still. It doesn't move. All right. So. Now I'm just going to prove to you that this is. So I'm just going to go to the camera position. I'm just going to choose the Z. I'm just going to. No, no, I'm not. What's happened here? Um. I'll see, as you can see, I've taken it out, and see, you can see here, it is 3D. So, that is it. So, I'm just going to create a background now. I'm just going to see, so I can't see this, and I'm just going to go to Effect. Sorry. I mean layer new and I'm going to choose solid I'm going to, going to choose this solid as a dark blue well a lightish blue and I'm going to click OK OK, okay, uh, okay again I'm just going to drag this to the bottom and then I'm just going to get this um, ellipse tool up here it should look like the rectangle if you click and hold and then go to it and then let go I'm just going to take out a circle I always do this for most of mine but I think it looks really good it's a good effect it'll pop up with this mask if you click this arrow here and then the mask feather if you take it out quite a bit as you can see it feathers it out now once that's done you can just um, make sure that this is locked and now you can have this really smart background now if you just make sure that the white solid is ch ch shown by the eye right, make sure that um, the, your actual real text doesn't show because it won't work then but you can um, go to effect sorry make sure you're on the white white solid and you can go to effect you can choose generate and you can choose fill and you can add a color to this now so I'm just going to choose a gray like so but you don't have to so whatever yet um, now we can start adding the um, um, positions so I'm just going to choose this back to white because I liked it at white and then making sure this is checked 
I'm just gonna mess around with his positions now. Um see here with the camera positions. You can these are stop watches as sig keyframes. So the X um that tilts it that way. The Y takes it that way. The Z takes it in an oh like round and the other Z position oh well that was rotation but the Z position makes it go in and out. So I'm gonna choose I'll make sure you're on this. I'm gonna choose the stopwatch on the Y and I'm gonna start off of it oh out here like this and I'm gonna take it to about three set three and a half seconds and I'm gonna choose it to see how this is minus sixty one. I'm gonna take this to six just sixty one and it'll take it round to this side. So it's gonna slowly move round. Um as you can see, round. And you can also do something else maybe with the like zooming in. You might have it here at two seconds, you might have it um maybe zooming in a bit more and then back out three and a half seconds you can have it back at maybe two again. So then it comes when then this is moving round it goes closer as the text turns and then it comes back out. So that's a good thing to add. You can mess around with it tilting, maybe rotating round. Um there's a lot of stuff you can do. Um, so that's what I'm going to do for this, this is my intro for today um, as you can see it comes round like so and then once you're finished and you're happy with it um, this is where it ends, so I'm just going to grab this here the work end area so then when you render it you're not rendering all this unneeded space, so it's just going to render this part so you're just going to go to composition and add to render queue and I want it here, you're going to choose the settings as the lossless output mode and then you can choose wherever you want it to go I've chosen mine to go to my desktop and all I have to do is hit render and then it starts rendering it so that's it guys, I hope this tutorial has really helped you I know it's a bit rushed, sorry about that but anyway, please subscribe, thanks